Good day. Are you sick and tired of seeing that jewel? There it is. The little pop-ups and the but there's another one. In the right-hand corner, little notifications that are telling you that something about a website that you probably don't care about anymore, uh, or YouTube sending you something about a page that you also don't care about anymore, that there's a new video. Well, we're going to show you how to turn those off uh, if you're using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Now, Microsoft Edge is Google Chrome, but the settings are in a slightly different place. So we'll show you both of them. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is we'll deal with just regular websites first, not in particular YouTube. So let's just go to uh, Google Chrome. So let's show you an example of the, uh, how you accidentally turn these things on. All right, so I've surfed off to the dailymail.co.uk. Certainly not a, an organization I want to have anything to do with. But as you can see, it pops up with this uh, allow, you know, notifications and sure, I'm just in a hurry, so I click allow. All right, so let's surf off to Global News. Just another site, just to show you that this stuff pops up on so many sites. You can see this popped up and it said, hey, can we, uh, you know, give you some notifications? Sure, why not? Let's say allow. So you get the idea. Now, what you want to do to turn those off is click the dots in the top right hand corner, go down to settings, then go over to privacy and security on the left menu, then select site settings and scroll down a bit if you don't see it and you'll see notifications, click on that. And shocker, there's Reddit. Well, I've, I've added Reddit previously, Daily Mail, Global News, so on and so forth. No, I certainly don't want the, the Daily Mail. Now, there's, here's an interesting point. I can either return this to default, which is I don't have an answer for it. I haven't allowed it or disallowed it. Uh, by selecting remove but in fact i dislike the daily mail so much i want to intentionally block it in case i go there again and watch what happens up here in this block site bingo there it is uh, the global mail one i just want to remove um, and same with reddit i actually don't want that now you'll notice that there's a few uh, google ones built in and if you uh, try to uh, change the notifications on that you'll see they're blocked uh, that's because google likes google and there's nothing you can do about it Google runs Chrome, the end. <laughs> All right, so there's a couple more settings that you probably care about. The first is at the top here, you see sites can ask to send notifications. If you don't want notifications from anyone, just turn that off and everything gets grayed out. Easy peasy. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is there are some sites that are really big like YouTube where you may want to customize what gets sent to you rather than just having it, you know, broadly open. So let's show you how to do that. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time on Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how to's. Lots and lots of cookbooks, like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. So what you do is surf off to YouTube and in the if you, after you've signed in, if you haven't signed in already, in the top right hand corner, click on your icon, probably your head or it could be anything, any, any graphic you want. Then go down to settings. And in settings, click on notifications on the left side there. And you'll see that you have some choices. So these are the alerts that will pop up for you in YouTube. And this is in the app and also shows up in your browser. So this is something you want to pay attention to. So if you have, uh, if you're subscribed to channels, they can send you notifications. And that's really what we get a lot of these notifications from. There's a couple things you could do. One, you could just turn them off and say, I don't want to get anything from any of these guys. That's the first thing. The second way to turn it off is to click on channels I'm subscribed to and click on the word subscribe and then click unsubscribe just to get rid of their notifications. Then you can click back and I would go through each of these to see which ones you actually want notifications on. So for instance, 
I run a number of channels and I want to know when my content is shared on other people's channels. I want to turn that on. Uh, something that is really easy to miss if you're like me and you have multiple channels or multiple logins, you need to get, do this on each one. So notice on my UR Tech account, I've got subscriptions and recommended videos turned off, shared content turned on. Let's click the upper, the graphic in the top right hand corner again and go to switch account and let's choose my partisan issues account. And in partisan issues, you can see I have subscriptions turned on. So I get notifications from anybody that I'm subscribed to. Uh, but my shared content, I don't have that on. I actually do want that on. I turned it off just to show you that that's how you do it. And I have a third account, which is my personal. So I'll click switch account and I'll go to Ian Matthews. And you can see I've got everything turned on here. Well, I actually don't want to know about those subscriptions. So I'm going to and recommended videos. I don't want it. So that is how you turn off subscriptions and notifications that will drive you crazy in Google Chrome. And also from clogging up your notifications here in the right hand side, we're going to run through the same process with Microsoft Edge, which is just a different version of Google Chrome. And if you're interested in that, click the link in the top right hand corner. If you found this video useful, we would really appreciate it if you would click like. And if you like this type of thing, please click subscribe. We would really appreciate it. It really helps with the Google algorithm. And if you have any questions, just leave us a note in the comments section below, or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's U-R-T-E-C-H.ca. And we'll get back to you usually within a day or so. That's all. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.